In this video, we're going to take a look at several examples of inner joins and an example of an outer join. And I'm going to be using the Secilla database. And in the first example, I'm going to show you the, the most simple type of join where we use the WHERE clause to combine tables. Okay, so I want to display customer names and their phone numbers. And to do these, you pretty much have to be able to look at the ERD. So here's an ERD for Sakilla. And if I look at the customer table, we can see that it has their name, but it does not have their phone number. All right, so it's actually living in the address table. So I'm gonna to have to get data from both tables to get the query result that I want. So we're gonna start just like we would for any other query. We're gonna select first name, last name, Okay, and then the phone. So we're going to list everything that we want on the result set. And then we're going to list all the tables we need. So we need customer and we need address. Okay, and in the where clause, we're going to match up the address ID, which is the common field between those two tables. We're going to match it up so that we display the correct name with the correct phone number. So it's going to be address dot address ID. All right, we're going to set that equal to customer dot address ID. Okay, and then we'll just sort it. Okay, let's see what that gets us. So there's our result first name and last name and then uh, the phone number. Okay, nothing we can do about the formatting of the phone number here. All right, but we can see that, oh, at the simplest case, we can just use a where clause and start specifying how we want to combine these tables. All right, and you can combine more than two tables if needed. Okay, as your syntax gets more complex, the operation that you're trying to accomplish is more complex, it may be preferable to use alternate syntax to join the tables. All right, so we're going to introduce the join clause. Okay, so for this example, what we want to do is join the actor names. Okay, so we will get the first name and the last name. Okay, so in this example, what I want to do is get the actor name and then display how many films they've been in. So let's take a look at the ERD to see how we can get that done. And if you look at the actor table in relationship to the film table, we can see that, oh, there's this junction table here. And there's a many to many relationship between actors and films. So each actor can be in many films and each film can have many actors in it. Okay, so eventually what we want to do is count something that we definitely have an entry for in each row, like film ID or title. All right, we're going to count that up and associate it with a specific actor. So I'll just specify that here, count, and uh, I'll do the title. Okay, so we're going to add the join clause, which is actually part of the from clause. So I'm just going to specify the first table and it's going to be the actor. And then we're going to join. Okay, alternatively, you can use inner join, but by default, it is an inner join. So it's probably a stylistic preference whether or not you want to include the word inner. So we're going to join that film actor table and we're going to join it on the actor ID. Okay, we have to also join to the film table. And we're going to join that on the film actor film ID equal to the film dot film ID. We're going to need to group this by the actor name. Okay, and we might as well order it by the most 
busy actor first. Okay, let's see what that gets us. All right, so we can see that, all right, Susan Davis has been in 54 films, all right, followed closely by Gina DeGeneres and Walter Torn. Okay, let's look at another example where we use yet another alternative syntax. Okay, so here I want to calculate revenue by customer. So I'm going to select that last name. All right, and their first name. All right, and we're gonna have to take a look at the ERD to see which tables are involved in revenue. All right, so to get from customer to payment, all right, they are linked through the customer ID, and then there's an amount in there. So we're gonna add up the amount and relate it to each customer ID. So we're gonna get this from customer, and then we're gonna join payment all right, and instead of using on, I'm going to use the word using and then customer ID. All right, so this syntax is quite a bit more compact. Okay, instead of having to write out each key and each table name, all I have to do is specify the key that I want to join on. All right, so this is probably preferable syntax. All right, and then uh, we want to also include the sum of amount. Okay, and we are going to group it by the last name. We should probably actually create an alias for the last name and the first name so that in case there's duplicate last names, uh, the, the rental amount doesn't get summed in there. So I'm going to use concat here. And all right, so we'll group by that customer name and we'll just assume that there aren't two customers with the same name and then we'll order it by the sum of amount in descending order. Okay, let's see what that does. Okay, so there's all our customers and then uh, we have their name and the amount they spent. All right, we may want to filter this further. Okay, so we may want to do something like include a where clause. And then we may want to look at uh, where the sum of amount is say greater than 200. Okay, let's try this one. And we it actually turns out to be an error. All right, because you cannot use where in conjunction with this aggregation okay so it's telling us down here invalid use of the group function all right so i'm going to remove this we can use where but we'd have to do it to sort of probably do something like filter out specific last names or first names things like that all right so instead if we want to include a filter for our aggregation we're going to have to use the having clause all right and we can do the the same thing here. All right, and we'll just do greater than 200. Okay, let's try that one. Okay, and so there's our results set. Only two records meet that condition. Okay, the last example I'm going to show is an outer join. And so far we've been using inner joins, even though I haven't specified that it was an inner join. It is that by default. These are also referred to as equi joins. So essentially, when we combine the tables, whatever key we're combining it on, customer ID in the previous one, uh, it's, it's required that the customer ID exists in both tables. Okay, so that's not always the case. We may have customers in the customer table that hasn't placed any orders, right? And so they wouldn't have a customer ID in the payment table. So if you want to see the people, or in this case, we're going to take a look at the inventory. Okay, so we're going to look for films that are out of stock that we have no inventory on. So to do this, I'm going to need the, uh, the film table and the inventory table. All right. And if it's out of stock or we don't have it, there will be no film ID in the inventory table. Okay. So we're going to select and it's going to be the film ID. 
All right, and then we'll get the title and then we'll get the inventory ID. Okay, we're gonna get this from starting at film, that's the primary side, and then here, instead of just a join, we're gonna to have to specify left, and we can, if we want, specify outer, but a left join is an outer join. All right, so you're either gonna specify left or right, and the position is based on the relationship between the from clause and this join clause. All right, so the primary key is, if we consider the ERD, the film tables on the left, and then that inventory tables on the right. Okay, so we're gonna join it to inventory, and we're gonna do that using the film ID. Okay, and then we're just gonna order it by the title. Okay, let's see what that does. Okay, so there they are, all the film IDs, all the inventory IDs, and if I scroll far enough, let me spread this out a little bit. I should be able to find a null inventory ID. There it is, there's one. Okay, so a lot of times, like I said, this is used to find where we don't actually have something. All right, customers that haven't placed an order. In this case, uh, films that we don't have an inventory. All right, and a lot of times what we do is just look at those that are null. And so we might include a where clause here and look for those inventory IDs that are null. Okay, so there they are, everything that we don't have in inventory. Okay, so that should get you started with joins.